Good evening, everyone. Hey, it's new. I am here with one of the biggest gambles of all time for myself. I've decided after farming 500 Crimson Temple runs, which would be the halfway point, I happen to have a little bit of extra currency because, yes, I'm actually making currency doing that. I have decided to put all of that into some Hinecore's locks, and I am going to do something with it to improve my gear because there's not a whole lot left I can do. It turns out probably the coolest thing I could do to improve my character, because that's where I always put all my currency, even if it's foolish amount of currency. The coolest thing I could probably do is double corrupt the Ventor's Gamble that I'm using. Extremely valuable one. Probably around 300, 400 divines uh, in value. You might be thinking, hey, wait a minute. What about that fire resist and cold res? It doesn't really matter for this kind of character. Uh, and I can prove that by just taking a look at the resist. As you can see, the lightning res is the one that's actually questionable. So as long as you have this super high lightning res, which I do, one away from perfect, everything else is extremely high or perfect rolls, making this uh, an extraordinarily valuable Ventors for a lot of players, you know, because, you know, if you're using Ventors, you're using Goldworm to get your fire res there, for example. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test it out, and I'm going to, for the first time, be using this. And... Uh, this is literally the first time I've ever used Hina Kor's lock this league, so this is kind of something of a last hurrah. Locus of Corruption on here. We're going to test the Locus of Corruption, the Val Orbs, you know, bless it. If it misses, you know, I guess I'll check Divine Orbs too, because I think my chat's going to go crazy if I don't at least check <laughs> the Divine Orbs. They're going to go, you're, you're doing it wrong on principle if you don't check them. But whatever, okay. So, uh, here we go. Apparently, this only requires one temple. You just kind of camp out on there. So I'm going to fully clear the room. It's over here to the right. Pretty excited about this. And the reason why this is uh, a little more exciting than what you might think is because it so happens, almost by accident, this Ventor's Gamble is indeed item level 84. Item level 84 Jewelry can corrupt into a 3 to 5% increase item quantity corruption. It's extremely low weighting. You can check POEDB weightings on that. Trust me, it's crazy low. The chances of me actually hitting this are just pathetically bad. Uh, but, you know, well, I mean, same chances of, you know, getting this, for example. But I didn't make this happen. I bought it uh, earlier this league. So it would be no less exciting than if that actually happened. Uh, so, we're going to take the Ventor's Gamble off. Actually, I'm going to double check here and fully clear this room. I don't want to have any weird things happening in here while I'm in here. Okay. All right. Ooh, a little nervous. Of course, it's perfectly qualityed up, catalysted up, even got a, uh, what do you call it, enchant on it that doesn't really have any value. So, we're taking it off. first thing we got to do is this. All right, I, I done it. I spent it. So I guess if I scroll this over, it shows... Okay, yeah, it, it lags a little bit there, but it shows... Okay, you guys have probably seen this before. And if we check the Valorb, uh, nothing happened. Okay. We check the Divine Orb. It becomes terrible. And now we take this and we scroll over it and nothing happened. Okay, so it's a double nothing happened. So in that case, this 105 Divine Hinecore's Lock is a total waste and I'm going to use another one. Oh, but first I have to actually go through with the Blessed Orb. Which reminds me, I actually need to buy, I need to bring more Blessed Orbs because I have to, or wait, no I don't because of it corrupts and it's going to remove it anyway okay so this doesn't really matter all right blessed orb done now do it again check the val orb nothing happened check the divine orb garbage is the exciting one though check it here oh okay successful double corruption 23 despair grace effect literally useless so uh Gonna hit escape on that one. 
and go through again. That's now two. Lock number three. Valorb, bleeding cannot be inflicted on you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I have to do this. I have to do this, right? Because everybody keeps talking about how crazy this is. I have to take it. Ugh. I really want quant. Uh, I think we're going to be a settler today. Of course, I can still check the double corruption. So we'll check the double corruption. And it's gone. All right. What does the chat say? What does the chat say? Do, do I just end this whole thing now and we just do it? It's going to be hard to get a, a, a Ventor this good again. But I guess I have to, right? We are not settling, Aranella says. Settle equals casual. It's about a five to three on this. End it now. Six or six to two. It's a six to two. I'll take that as a seven to two. Eight to two. Check price. What do you mean check price? Check price. Bleeding is way too good for MF. How do I check? A few minutes later. Craft of Exile says the 100 waiting. It's done. I've taken it. Call it a settle if you want. That's what we're doing. Bleeding immunity. <laughs> Buy another ring? There was no another ring. I checked. I was looking at other rings potentially. Uh, I already have it up here. These are rings that would be potentially as good. And this is like the best thing that even comes up. So it's not even perfect rarity. So, yeah. Use the temple on something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure, we can do that. Good idea. But first, watch this. Upgrades, guys! Ghosting upgrades! <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. I suppose... All things considered, I didn't get unlucky. Want to keep going with my Ventors? Is you going to pay 105 Divines per? Let's do projectile. Eh, it's not that crazy. Plus two projectile. <laughs> it's not that crazy, guys. It's only like six, six or eight divine. Maximum energy shield. I just slammed it in there. Easy. <laughs> uh, that would have been nuts if I hit like double plus two or something. Well, this dial is going to get the nice treatment. <laughs> Getting anything but a poof. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you go. That's the, that's the video. We're going to cut it off there. <laughs> Took three locks, not ten. Uh, to something crazy. I knew bleeding would be uh, a winner. I, I was pretty... I was pretty sure if I saw bleeding at all, I was going to take it. Uh, or poison immunity. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Would you have settled? Would you have settled on this? Or not? I don't know. It's a pretty good looking ring. I would have been pretty upset if I had skipped it out, blown through another mirror worth of Hinecore's locks, and ended up with nothing for it. So, yeah. I wonder what that's worth in standard. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think this would be worth in standard? Because apparently it doesn't exist. Anywhere.